Happy New Year everybody, it's 2023 and we want to start the new year by applying our new weight tag to the van. We've upplated the van from 3.5 tonnes to 4,230 kilos, so 700 plus kilos in addition to what we could have legally carried. And uh, the van's now registered as a private HGV, so that means less tax. Um, it does however mean I have to have a different MOT, I have to go to a different MOT station, but that's not going to be an issue. So I want to start today's video by putting this label over the top of the old one. So that's the old tag there, and this label fit just nicely over the top of it. And that there is the last step in our upplating process. So we're now legal. We can carry up to 4,230 kilos. Since we released our van weight video, we've had a lot of people contact us regarding the uplating process. What is it? How do you do it? Who do I contact? What do I need to do? And what do I need to consider? How much is it? So in this video, we're going to answer a lot of them questions. Upplating is a legal process where you can change the weight your vehicle is allowed to carry on the road. So we've increased ours from 3.5 tonnes to 4.23 tonnes. And we did that by doing a number of modifications to the vehicle. So we altered suspension, dampers. We didn't have to alter the brakes, but we did have to alter the wheels and tyres. The suspension alterations that we did were on the rear. We added heavy duty 5 tonne springs to the back. And we also added air assist to the back. Now, the air assist for us, all it does is help remove the body roll and in windy conditions, helps us from being pushed around by the wind. On the front, we have graded the torsion bar. We installed a five ton torsion bar and we installed Bilstein B6 dampers. Now, we've done videos for all of these and uh, they're pretty straightforward installations. There's none that really were too challenging. They were hard work, don't get me wrong. Um, you'll see that if you've already watched the videos. But if you haven't, go along and check them out. I'll put a link below. The hardest part is finding the torsion beam for the front. Now the two, the two fifty, uh, sorry, the five ton torsion beam is from basically a tipper or a twin axle minibus or a twin axle van. Um, it does give you quite a substantial lift on the front end as well. And when you do the Jones's heavy duty on the rear, it'll also give you a little bit of lift. So when you're choosing your wheels and tyres, you can add a little bit more to make it look a bit meatier. But the big thing to consider, which limits a lot of the weight, um, the upplatings on, on vehicles, is the tyre, and uh, sorry, the wheel choice. So these wheels are rated uh, 1,497 kilos. And that allows you to push the boundaries a little bit further if you stick to a standard wheel which is probably around about 1250 kilos you're gonna you're gonna limit how much weight you can carry on your rear axle and on your front axle so we went with the mid hills the black rhino mid hills because of the higher rating so now we've gone through all the modifications that we've done to the van it's time to take you through the process and i'll show you that on my computer Okay, so your first port of call is to find an uplating company. So we would like to uplate a van. Um, so we'll click on there. So you've found the company that you're going to use. You'll make your initial inquiry to them um, via email. So there's a contact us here. Um, van weight engineering. Boom. And just send them what you what your intentions are. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to upgrade my uh, upgrade up plate. I keep going to say upgrade. I would like to upplate my vehicle. Uh, currently, it's three and a half tons. Um, we've converted into a motorhome, and we'd like to have some additional um, capacity to carry extra weight. And that starts the questions and the dialogue off. And van weight engineering D or 
Um, somebody from his company will get back in touch with you and away you go. So once they make contact with you, they'll send you this form. This form is really straightforward. So basically, section A is the owner. So name, address, phone number, email, and do you have a C1 entitlement? Okay. So if you're going above 3.5 ton, you will need C1 entitlement. If you haven't got it, that's something you're going to have to go out and get in addition to what you already had on your driving license. Section B, that's all about your vehicle and what you would like to, uh, the one that you're wanting to upplate. So there we've got VW Crafter, I've made up a number plate. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I've just, I've added my details in there and I've kept my V5 document separate. Section C, dimensions. So your rear overhang from this point to there, to the back of your van. Straightforward wheelbase, that's from the centre of your wheel to the centre of your other wheel. Your total length, that's section C, that's from the front of your van to the back. Your track, now this is your width, so that's from the outside of your wheel to the outside of your other side of your van wheel. And then you've got your overall height, which is E. Put them details in, and you're done for that section. Section D, van weight plate. Now this is the plate that's on the side of your van already, so all you've got to do is basically take that information and transfer it onto here, and any additional figures or letters. You will also be required to send some pictures to validate this information. E, suspension. So here, this is where you can add any upgrades that you've already done. So for us, we've put a 5 ton torsion beam, or... Uh, uh, <laughs> other people call it um, a different name so it's, it is a single leaf spring transverse leaf spring but I just call it torsion bar it, it is what it is um, we've also added some Bilstein B6 sports dampers on there so we've put the part numbers in as well this saves D doing the legwork and looking around for them we've upgraded our rear suspension this is axle 2 and um We've put uh, Jones's HD twin leaves on there, reference number there, and then we also put some aftermarket Dura Rubina airbags on the back. Section uh, Section D also has uh, a third axle there, that's if you had a twin axle on the back of your van, but they're few and far between. Section F, wheels and tyres. So we actually listed um, what we had. Um, on at the time and our spare wheel would be a steel wheel section G, G is all about your brakes so we've, we've just put in the information that is is relevant it's a standard 300mm vented disc on the front axle it's a standard solid disc with parking brake on the rear and that's all you need to put again if you've got a third axle you would put the brake information in for that as well so section H, now this is your opportunity to tell D about all the work you've done on your van, what you've fitted, why you want to upplate it, and uh, all the rest of them sort of good things. So we also put on the end there, we intend to have fitted Black Rhino mid-hill wheels with a load rating of 1479, that's actually wrong, that would be 14. 97 so we correct that now um this is what i've oh so i had actually put in <laughs> i have actually put in the tire uh, size an aluminium wheel already so that's that's okay so once you've completed that section we move on to the checklist now this is where you just run through and you check that everything you've uh, you're required to send you have sent so on here he will ask for photos and a printout of the vehicle wear bridge showing axle weights one and two um, photo of a uh, front page of your v5 photo of your weight plate a photo of your chassis number a photo of suspension components photos of the vehicle uh, any other information that you might find relevant and then you just sign a bit of a declaration there you know you tick that um, 
and then there's a consent. So that it's that easy. Once you've once you've supplied all this information, you can forward that on back to the email address that you've got, and it's that simple. After a little while, you will get a email back from Vanway Engineering. And in that email, it will explain to you what you can achieve with the modifications that you've already done to your van. So the upplating, we initially set off, we wanted 4.8 tonnes. So in this section here, we would have loved 4.8 tonnes. But unfortunately, if you read the text, um, there's a couple of things that restrict us, and one of them being the rear axle and the front axle. The front axle we were aware of, but the rear axle we weren't. Um, so D has had to rein it in a little bit, and we lost around about 600 kilos. Um, it is what it is. Um, we did shoot for the moon, and what, <laughs> and we've ended up with 4230. So if that's all we can achieve, that's all we can achieve. We can't really um, be upset about that. So looking at this little uh, proposal here, it takes into consideration your load index on your tyres, um, the front loading that you can apply to your wheels and axle, and then that gives you a value for your front, for your tyre limits. So your front is 2.8 tonnes and your rear is 2.8 tonnes as well. So that's a total of 5.6 tonnes. So looking at the limits that are applied by the manufacturers to the to the actual axles, 1.8 tonnes on the front and the rear is 4.23. And this is, once you combine that together, is what will give you your total maximum allowable mass. So it, this is this is 4230 and that's what we're going with. So our grace train weight doesn't change, it's still 5.5 tonne. So if we, had to, if we were at that weight, we could not exceed this if we decided to pull a trailer. So basically, a trailer and a, and our vehicle loaded and the trailer loaded cannot exceed the gross train weight of 5.5 tonnes. So, once you get this back, it's just a matter of you then deciding, are you happy with this? And if you are happy with this, you just let D know and they will send you an invoice. Once the invoice has been paid, they will send you the relevant paperwork. The next step is you will receive an email from Van Weight Engineering and it will contain all of these documents. So first of all, you'll have your engineer's report. If it decides to open, plain silly buggers, there you go. Um, you'll have that report, a design weight certificate. These don't want to open up today. <laughs> you'll also have some guidance notes on what steps to take next and how to do it. These are brilliant, to be honest. You'll have a V70 tax form. I won't show you that because I'll have details on there. Um, you'll have a new tax form and a tackle exemption form that you just sign on the bottom, on the back. There you go. Sign and date that. And then you're good to go. Well, I'm just going through the guide that comes with the documentation. What to do with your weight change pack. And... Um, I think we've just about completed all the sections. I've highlighted a couple of bits there that I needed to do when I got home. So they're done now. So it was basically new tax, uh, new revenue weight, which is 42350. Change the tax class to private HGV. Today's date, and then post it to that address. So everything's done. There's a number I don't you see on there, but basically we made the changes. My handwriting's terrible, but it'll do for what we want. So that's what's done. Time to just pack it all up and post it tomorrow. So before I post it, I'm just gonna quickly go through and check that we've got everything we need. So we'll start. The engineer's report, the design weight certificate. There's all the values there. We've got our tachograph exemption certificate, signed and dated. Our tax um, application, that will now be a private HGV, cost less, winner winner, and our V5 completed so, and filled, there's nothing to sign on that, just got to put it all in, 
So that's it, that's all sealed up now. Put a bit of tape on there because the glue wouldn't take. <laughs> so we will send that recorded delivery. D does advise that you send it recorded delivery because it gets delivered right into the people that are dealing with it with their hands. So it's it goes to the right department straight away. We're another step closer, our weight plate has arrived. Unfortunately, we can't stick it on until we get the documents. So we'll put that somewhere safe. We'll do that as soon as the documents arrive. Just a bit, things are moving in the right direction. Well, I've uh, had a couple of letters this morning. I sound a bit... Um, throaty because uh, I'm getting over a chest infection so you just have to bear with me but um yeah we have now we are now owners of a private HGV we finally got the documentation back the van is now plated so <clears throat> I, I have meant to do this video before now but we've been sitting around waiting for the documents to come back waiting for everything else to be signed off and sorted out so we now got the documents back as well and in here it says we have a yep there it is <laughs> private hgv plated to need my glasses for this there it is peeps private hgv 4.3 ton would have been great if we'd made this video in the summer but uh, we haven't and look outside this morning the van even had um, icicles on it I had to knock the icicles off to to move it but yeah it's uh, I'm happy really happy just need to get over this uh, chest infection to, to get everything finished off and done and dusted and get that plate put on there but I just don't feel up to it at the minute so you guys will just have to bear with me and I'll uh, I'll get the video out as soon as I can. But we're there, we've done it. This label. Fit. Just nicely over the top of it. And that there is the last step in our upplating process. So we're now legal. We can carry up to 4,230 kilos. Happy with that. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.